Hey, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sway. We back with another reaction video. And, you know, it, it's really it's really sad to say on certain stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know I say this every video, but let me go close this door. Last video, I closed it. But, you know, I, I ain't closing for this one. All right. Hopefully nobody bothers me. You know, my grandparents be calling me every 10 seconds. But, you know, it, it, it's really sad to say with certain stuff, bro. Because it's like... I don't know who this dude is. I'm gonna find out when I watch the video, but he seemed like he he he's a he has some influence to him. If you know you got somebody dropping a video on his death or whatever, but it, it's really sad to say like like you know that 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 game stuff ain't it. Especially when you getting into the rap game. When you get into the rap game, you getting a little name for yourself. You are gonna have a target on your head, and especially like and not even really on a target on your head. In some cases, like in some cases, like. If, if you were rapping and stuff like that, you can't be doing dumb stuff like this. Like, like, like the title of the video is Florida Teen Kill Robin Dealer. Like, like bro, come on. You going to rob somebody, bro? You, it, it, I don't know what if this dude's a big rapper or not, but if he was, like, getting to that point of being a big rapper, then there's no point in him doing stuff like that, going out and robbing somebody. Like, what's the point? Like, were you trying to earn stripes? Why are you trying to earn stripes when you out here getting money? How that make, that don't make no sense to me. But well, we're going to get right into the reaction. I don't know nothing about it. So, like, I, I don't want to sit here and just, like, speak on something I don't know about. Because, you know, it could have went way deeper into something. Like, but, you know what I'm saying? We're we going to get into it, you know? Let's just... Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 10 out of Jake. Man, I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on a Florida team that tried to rob the weed man and was shot repeatedly. January 10th, oh, 2021. Oh, I'm stupid. It wasn't a rapper. Pembroke Pines police officer. It was just a Florida. It was just a teenager who was, who was just in the parking lot of I'm Avon stupid. <laughs> around 2.58 p.m. Upon arrival, a young black male was found at the scene suffering multiple gunshot wounds and was pronounced dead only 11 minutes later. He was identified as 17-year-old Jayshawn Jones. Crime scene investigators secured the scene examining the body of the teen who'd been shot in the face, a visible hole seen in his left cheek. Two more bullets tore through his chest, another two through his left shoulder, another two to his left elbow, and one last bullet hit his left tricep. In all, he'd been shot eight times, and on the ground near his body was a 45 auto blazer shell casing. A witness contacted police, identified... Like, yo, like, this is why I never wanted to portray us as being about it. Like, I never went out and did stupid stuff like this. Like, when I grew up, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I would I would, I would, never know no sissy, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, like, you know, I wasn't going around looking for a fight. I wasn't going around looking to try to be gangster. Like, I'm not going around, you know, trying to have a gun, trying to go rob people, whatever. Like, I ain't, I ain't do stuff like that. That life wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying I wasn't scared to do it or nothing like that. Like it just wasn't for me. Like that's not me. You know what I'm saying? And you know I have a life that I want to live, and I got people I want in my life to live my life with me. You know I got people, you know who 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 worry like this type of lifestyle. It's just it only leads you two places. You know what I'm saying? Because if you really think about it, like you're doing all of this for somebody else at a certain point you either just gonna wind up dead or in jail and if you're not dead or in jail you get locked up and then you snitch and, and now your reputation's done through the rest of your life you know what i'm saying find the shooter as daniel Bacaro and said she was inside his vehicle at the time of the shooting and had just bought a dime bag of weed from him prior to the shooting he had invited her to smoke with him, but he needed to handle another deal close by. She asked him if he'd sold weed to this person before, and he said no. She was in the front passenger seat when they arrived at the location, the teen getting in the rear passenger side behind her, and they quickly began arguing over the price of an ounce of weed. The teen pulled a black and silver gun, aiming it at her, while Daniel slowly pulled a gun from his waistband and she was able to get out of the car, taking off running, only making it a couple car lengths away before she heard the gunshots. She heard the teen say something, 
It sounded like he said, you got me. Then another gunshot went off. She walked back to the vehicle thinking everything was over. That's when she saw the teen laying dead next to Daniel's car. She saw her phone on the ground next to his body and picked it up before getting back into Daniel's car at the same time as he did. He leaned over her in the car looking down at the body, telling her to pick up the shell casing on the ground. She handed it to him, describing it to investigators as a brass color. He drove around the parking lot of the apartment complex before driving back to the scene and stopping. She yelled at him to drive her back to her car. And as he drove her, she noticed the dead teen's phone. Was wait, like, I wasn't really 100% paying attention. Like, wait, is she like innocent or this? Like, I, I don't know. Like, is she just like a bystander just having to be there? Because if that's the case, then that's really tough. Because, shit. I mean, obviously, it, you know, it don't seem like it really, you know, affected her that much. You know what I'm saying, but you know, we all live, you know, if they live in a the hood, you know, what I'm saying, you you can't you can't get shook up if some shit like that happens. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. You know, that shit can happen at any moment. You know what I'm saying, like, ain't nothing like that ever happened to me. I don't know how exactly I react in a situation like that, but hopefully, I don't get shook up and froze up and nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Was still inside of his car. She agreed to bring investigators to Daniel's house. And as they arrived, he was just about to leave. As he was about to get into his car, he ran back inside of the home as two officers ran up to the house. And Daniel surrendered, demanding a lawyer as his mother claimed it was all self-defense. Another witness was interviewed by investigators at the scene. He'd heard two gunshots before walking to his second floor apartment window. He saw a Hispanic male in the driver's seat of the car with a black gun Man, in his dude hand. Is younger than me. He then watched him push the teen's body out of the vehicle bro, and onto the pavement. The next day at 2.20 a.m., a search warrant at Daniel's house recovered Actually, it's, a it's black and silver 45 caliber Ruger loaded with three rounds of Blazer 45 Auto, matching the brand and caliber located at the crime scene. Additional handguns, ammunition, cannabis, and cannabis paraphernalia were also found at the home. Daniel's girlfriend, who also lived with him, told police the dead teen's gun was disassembled by Daniel and placed in the trunk of his car inside of a bag. The black 9mm was found, and inside of the vehicle, bullet holes in the seats and blood was processed by crime scene investigators. Daniel was booked into the Broward County Jail on charges of first-degree premeditated murder. A capital felony punishable by death in the state of Florida, but only three days after his arrest, a judge said she was forced to agree with defense attorneys who said it wasn't a premeditated murder case. Acknowledging the... I mean, technically, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't premeditated murder. Like, he was defending himself, like, even though like, he, you know, he's a drug dealer or whatever, he was defending himself. It wasn't pretty much a team, but... The fact that the teen tried to commit an armed robbery and lost his life because of it, which was a hard fact for the teen's family to accept. Daniel was later released on GPS monitored house arrest, charged with nothing but tampering with physical evidence. He may face a second degree murder or even a manslaughter charge in the future, but at this time, he's free and back home. Now, when you jump on the deceased teen's Instagram, as y'all have seen throughout this video, he doesn't come off as a grade A student. Jit was thugging, playing with guns. I mean, he even posted a video DMing King Vaughn, mocking King Vaughn's death. And it just seemed like Jit was trying to portray a lifestyle that ended up ending his. And unfortunately, that's just how it goes. And that's a fact like bro like that's why the, this type of lifestyle was never for me bro because all this like i said it's only gonna wind you dead in jail bro and if it's not dead in jail you went in jail and you snitched you came out and now your reputation done the people on your head trying to kill you anyway you know what i'm saying that's how it goes who dissed on the dead and ended up dying the exact same way now i feel a lot of ways about this case and i try to break down each case from two different perspectives, right? Because I have the criminal understanding and mentality. I've been through the system. I've been through county. I've been to prison. So I can give the criminal insight, but I can also give the legal insight because I'm familiar with law, especially the laws within the state of Florida. And the most important thing 
in this case that I can see is the witness's description. The teen gets in the car, he pulls a gun. He doesn't even point it at Daniel. He points it at her. She's in fear for her life. And when you stand your ground, you can stand for you or for whoever the fuck is with you. So his defense could 110% be, I protected myself and the girl that was in my car, right? He pulls out his gun and he flames this kid in the back seat. I mean, he shot him in the car. Every bullet that hit this kid, it happened in the vehicle and then he pushed his body out, right? We know he did it. There's too much fucking evidence against him. They got the gun. The dead kid's gun was at his house. There's, there's way too much evidence. We know he did it, right? That, that's but technically, understand your ground, he had the right to do so. Now, fact. him being out on fucking house arrest is crazy to me. And the only thing that he's actually charged with is picking up shell casings, I'm sure taking the kid's gun and disassembling it. He's, he's fucking with the evidence, right? But this is another thing. Marijuana in the state of Florida is a felony if you're in possession of over 20 grams. And I'm only putting this out there because it's in the fucking police report. Nothing I say is new information. It's not like these motherfuckers don't think this shit through. He was already armed in the commission of a felony. He had a gun on him while he's selling a felony amount of weed. That's a charge right there, but it ain't a murder charge. You know what I'm saying? No matter how you try to spin it, I don't see him getting hit with the murder, second degree. I don't see him getting hit with a manslaughter. If anything, he can get hit with that one charge right there, being armed in the commission of a fucking felony. That's the only thing that I can think of. And I mean, yeah, you don't really want that charge, but it's a whole lot better than a fucking murder. And other than that, I don't know. I mean, he can have a lawyer pull that shit off and figure it out however he wants to. He might be able to beat that shit. It's just a matter of how good his lawyer is, the evidence they have stacked against him in the situation. I don't see him getting hit with that murder charge. And it's crazy because I just did a video on a kid that was pranking somebody, a fake fucking robbery, and he died the exact same way. God. Yo, one of my mans reacted to that video, yo. Like this up and comment if I should react to that same video, because that that was kind of crazy. I didn't even finish watching his video. I'm going to be honest with you, but you know, I liked it. He commented or whatever, but uh, like, like this video and comment if y'all want me to react to that video he's talking about right now. I flamed up, you know what I mean? But in this case, this kid was actually trying to pull off a robbery and got himself killed over an ounce of fucking weed. An ounce. A fucking ounce. How much is an ounce where y'all are from? You know what I want y'all to do? I want y'all to comment in the comment section the price. Just put a dollar sign and the amount of how much an ounce is in your area. And for all y'all dumbass jits that's going around robbing for weed, look at the fucking prices and let me know which price you feel is worth your fucking life. Because None of them. The I make that on a. I, I get paid that more than that on a Friday. Bro, I'm seeing. I'm seeing two hundred, a hundred, one eighty five, bro. Like, I'm. I get paid more than that on a Friday. Why would I lose my life over that? Like, come on, bro. That's, Man, like, what's up, on. everybody? Welcome back. I get paid more than that on a Friday, bro. There was no reason for you to be robbing. No, like, like this is, bro. Like, honestly, that, that whole robbing shit is just stupid to me, bro. Like, if you robbing somebody, it's stupid to me. Like, if you don't, like, if, if I don't get something on my own, like, work it for, it just don't, it don't feel right to have, bro. That's exactly what, I don't like when people buy stuff for me. And I, I don't like when people give stuff to me. Cause I, I feel like I don't deserve it. Like, if I don't get it myself, I feel like there's no point in me having it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, R.I.P. the son, he was roped up in the wrong crowd. You know what I'm saying? But, like, it, it's sad to say he did it to himself. Like it's the life he chose. Like you, you can't, you you can't feel bad or nothing for him. Like you, you, you could you could show a little, uh, so you could show condolences to the family or whatever. But uh, you you can't. It's not like you can't show no type of sympathy for that. Like he, that's what he chose. He knew he knew the consequences that could happen to him. But you know what I'm saying? Yo, comment what y'all want me to react to next. It's your boy King Sway, Sway King Sway, whatever y'all want to call me, and I'm catch you in the next reaction video.